this. In today's video, I want to test out the new Silhouette America blades that they recently released. These are for the Cameo 4 and the Portrait 3 machines. I have the Portrait 3, so that's the machine I'm going to test this in. Now, we all know that the Cameos as well as the Portraits Cameo 4 and Portrait 3 comes with the auto blade, but these new blades are actually manual blades. I do have the others and I'll try those out in future videos. This is a tool type B, so it has the bigger body and it has the auto detection inside of it. So again, it's not an auto blade, but it does have the auto detection, meaning that it will show up in Silhouette Studio and the machine will be able to detect which blade is in here, but it's manual and we've all been having issues with the auto blade. So therefore I'm trying to be confident that we will not have those same issues with the manual blades. I'm going to test this particular blade and this one can actually cut up to two millimeters and I'm going to use it with this craft foam. The craft foam is eight by 12 inches and it's just some that I picked up from a local discount store. Now it says it's ideal for cutting thicker materials such as craft foam along with other select soft materials up to two millimeters thick. And when you go on the Silhouette America website, you will see what the uh, compatibility for the different blades are. The image set I'm working with is called Button Set with Shadows. This is from the Silhouette Design Studio Library. I am working on my iPad Pro within the Silhouette Go app. So I just changed the mat size. That way on the screen, I can see everything I'm working with. And now if you look at the top right hand corner, you'll see two squares. That is how you ungroup everything so that you can use these images as singles and not as one whole group. If you look at the square, you'll see in the top left corner, there's a trash can. At the bottom left corner, there's two squares. The trash can is how you remove what you don't want to work with. And the double squares are how you duplicate, which is exactly what I'm showing here. I'm going to cut the button out of two different materials. One will be craft foam, the other will be paper. And then the single one at the top without the holes is going to be cut out of a foil paper. You want to make sure your mat size is a portrait, which is the eight by 12. Your media size should be letter or whichever size it is. And then you want to continue to your job settings. I'm choosing the material. I'm working with craft foam. So that is under other and then you'll see craft foam in the drop down. The action I want this to perform is a cut. And then I am working with the manual blade two millimeter. You do have other options as you can see and you just choose them accordingly. Click continue and then you want to go to test or modify settings which is at the bottom. This particular material which is craft foam requires the blade to be at a blade depth of 20. These are manual blades so you do have to manually twist it to the blade depth of 20. And now we need to make sure that we're correctly selecting what it is that we need the machine to physically cut. I want all of this on the screen to cut. So I'm going to click it and then I'm going to do use all lines. If you just want the outline, then you can do the outline or the third option, which is to ignore lines. I want to use all lines. So I'm going to cl click that and then click continue. Now you just follow the prompts that are on the screen. I've already placed the media on there. I've loaded my mat. My blade depth is actually already adjusted, but again, it's going to give you a reminder. So make sure that you're reading your screen and paying attention. Then you click mat uh, next, excuse me. And it's showing you what tool was detected. This is the manual blade two millimeter that was detected. And now you're ready to send your project to cut on your portrait three or your cameo, depending on which machine it is that you're using. Thank you. 
Here are the results of what that craft foam being cut out are. It worked perfectly fine. This was a one shot deal. I did not have to recut or adjust anything. So because this one ended up cutting out perfectly fine, I went ahead and moved on to using the other two pieces and cut them out of a foil card stock and a printable card stock, which is where I printed my own paper and had the machine cut this shape out on that paper. The setting that I use for both of those is the cover stock heavy, which is 105 pound to 122 pound. And that required a blade depth of six and it cut both of those out perfectly fine, as you'll see in the next couple of clips. <laughs> I've gone ahead and glued everything together. Now I just want to give you a really quick look at how neat and clean this is. The foam didn't spread out or stretch or anything. The inside of it, even those small little holes cut very cleanly. And then when I glued everything together, it's just perfectly fine. So I am really excited about this manual blade with the portrait. I feel like this just really made life so much easier because we all know that the auto blade just is giving everyone an issue, not just with Portrait 3 users, but also with Cameo 4 users. And I do have a fix if you have not seen that video for the auto bleed. Now, for this one, you do not have to have the machine do anything. And when you're looking at the screen, when you're changing your settings, it will tell you to take and it looks like it's telling you to put it in the front of the machine and twist it. That's actually for like the ratchet blade, the other blades. I believe those would be considered maybe a tool type of A, those blades. This one, all you do is twist it and it actually says so on the back of the packaging. So let me just show you how this works. Right now, this is on a blade depth of 20. So let me go ahead and get this changed back to one. Okay, right now this is on one. You can probably see the little bit of blade that's poking out. You actually need to count with the lower numbers first and then it jumps to the top numbers. So we're at one. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now, as you can see, the numbers up here jump to 11. So now this is a blade depth of 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. So if you're new to Silhouette and you've never used any of their manual blades, especially these newer ones here, then that's how you actually adjust it. I would always make sure that when, if it's not going to be inside the machine and you're just putting it away to so go ahead and twist it back. If you ever get confused on which blade depth you could, you could always twist it until it can't twist anymore. And I consider that to be 22. So I always just twist it until it can, or I have been twisting until it can't go back more, just in case if I'm confused. And then I know if I go that far up, if I go back to 20, I'm definitely at 20 and I can twist down and it'll be at one. So I hope that this helps you all. I hope this video was informative. I am so super excited to have this manual blade and I will definitely be testing out the other blades that came out recently because I do have them already and
and I'm currently working with them. So thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a gorgeous day, dial smooches. Mwah. Bye.